alert this morning. President Trump is not backing down on his threat to close the U.S. border with Mexico. Late last week, the president stirred talk of a possible border shutdown, something he says could happen any day now. But the move could have some huge ramifications. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce saying the United States and Mexico trade more than a billion dollars of goods each day. And let's dig a little deeper into this now. Joining us is former state Senate President Mike Herodopoulos. Mike, good to see you. I hope you had a good weekend. I did, Ryan. Good morning. So this border battle has been going on for a long time, and it seems to be getting bigger. What do you make of this and the president's threat to actually shut down the border? Well, I'd be a little surprised if he actually shut down the border. As mentioned, there's just a lot of trade between uh, Mexico and the United States. That interaction, shutting down the border, would be very chaotic to say the least. But the bigger issue here, as we've talked about now for years, is there is a ba major uh, problem on the border, whether it be drugs, human trafficking, you name it. We need to get a handle on this. And it's just a shame that Congress can't work together with the president to solve this problem because it's not just politics. This is real life, in my opinion. That's what I was going to say, Mike. No matter how you view immigration, no matter how you view the border, there are some things that have to be decided by both parties and then decided in Congress, and it just seems like that isn't happening at all. It's typical Washington, D.C. They're worried about the next election as opposed to the next day and far, as far as saving people's lives, and I wish they can get on the same page as this. I don't see it happening, but I think without doubt you're going to see the president continue to push on this issue because he thinks it wins for himself politically. He also believes in it because he ran on it. And another big issue they're not seeing eye to eye is the Mueller report. This is hundreds of pages. We know it's going to come out in some form, but Democrats want it by this week, and yeah. it seems like there's very little chance of that happening. Well, look, this is, again, but I hate to say it, everything we talk about is politics, about yeah. the next election. In this case, again, I think the report's going to come out. I think the president's even said he wants to see the report, but it, considering we've waited two years to get the report, can we wait a few more days? I don't think it's asking too much. And once it comes out, the fear is leaks, and if you don't see it all, when, when do things come out? I mean, it's hard to control something like this when, when you, obviously they have access to it, but then what gets released to the public is a whole other story. Uh, you're exactly right, Brian. This is going to have politics, but either side is going to leak to kind of get the advantage in one way or another. We're going to see this, I think, over the next 18 months or so. Do you see this still even playing into 2020? I mean, no matter what comes out of this report, either the president saying, I've been vindicated, or uh, uh, certainly Democrats saying, well, there's still these questions about obstruction. You nail it as usual. Democrats are going to say one thing, Republicans are say another. We're going to see this linger on. Even last week, a lot of the mainstream Democrats are saying, let's move on. Let's get the bigger issues. I hope that's the feeling of all the American public right we now. We will leave the federal issues there. We'll be back in the next hour. We'll talk about Governor DeSantis in town today. And of course, he had a big announcement on SunPass. So we'll stick around for 8 o'clock. He'll be on Facebook Live. Right now, let's go back to Amy. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Still